Good day guys. Welcome back to New Zealand. Just down at a local bush reserve in a little place, a little place called Ashley Clinton. And this this walk I'm gonna do is called Moncton Scenic Reserve. Never been here before. Well, I've never walked it before, I've passed it, I've driven past, but I've never actually pulled in and walked it. So uh, I don't think it's too long a walk, maybe an hour, something like that, around the bush. So, oh jeez, I'm gonna have a wander around. I'm gonna take the little, the little Fuji X100F and just see with my sock, and it's, and just see, see what I can come up with. Beautiful, stunning day. We've got maybe, maybe a couple of hours to sunset. Looks like it's quite dense in there. So I'm gonna have to work with light and shade, texture, shapes that sort of thing. Like I say, I've got no idea whatsoever what I'm going to find in there, but we'll soon see. Now guys, before I've even walked into the bush, I've literally walked from the van just to the entrance of the walk. And this big old tree here I have no idea what sort of tree it is. I'm not even going to hazard a guess. But it's just full of detail. Look at that. Look at the texture. The sunlight hitting it. It is just amazing. It's just an amazing tree. Actually, looking at it now, I want to guess that this is a macrocarpa tree only because a place I used to live before, I used to have a macrocarpa tree. And it kind of looks like that, whether I'm right or not. God only knows. And because it's quite bright, it's still got quite a lot of light on there. No need for the tripod. I don't think there's any need for any filters, to be fair. Let's have a look. And that's giving me around about 170th of a second. Get back a bit further first because I want to get some of this a little bit of the shade around it and the tree is going to stand out gloriously as it's fading away into shade. I'm actually quite liking this shot. All I'm going to do is get the uh, the lower part of the tree in the shot and just as it branches away going up towards the canopy and that's where I'm going to cut it off. Just have a little look of what we've got in here. Mixed podcarp and beech remnant forest. One and a half to two hours round trip. All right, I better get a freaking shuffle on then because uh, that's going to get me on dark. Fabulous. All right, let's crack on. A little stream crossing, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn slippy. Pretty damn slippy. This is gorgeous actually. This is absolutely stunning. Just gonna use a little tripod here as a bit of a walking stick. It's not deep, but it's slippy as frig. And I'm a clumsy bugger at the best of times. So this, there's two different loops. You could have gone. There's the top loop, which is another 20 minutes walk up the hill. And then there's the, the stream loop. I don't know if you can see this too well on there, but just on this tree, it's completely in shade, apart from this little patch here. And there's some dapple light coming through and the leaves from the bushes behind me are just reflecting on there quite nicely. I'm trying to get a quick shot. Hopefully, Hopefully I might not need the tripod, but I may do. Definitely, definitely a tripod shot, but to be honest with you, that light is dropping real quick. I'm going to work real fast here because I reckon I've got minutes, seconds, seconds mate, seconds. And already you can see this dropping. You can see the light levels are dropping big time. I may be too late for this. Now what I could have done 
in hindsight what I should have done is bump the ice up. Two second timer. Come on mate. Yeah. Okay. That's quite nice. It's not. It's not what I wanted. Because that light, the sun's dipped down behind that uh, behind that crest and it's gone as you can see. But as it stands, it's quite a nice shot on its own anyway. And seeing as though I've got the tripod set up now, I'm gonna get a better shot of this. It's not got the light on it, but it's still looking pretty funky. I've got this big old trunk in the foreground and then a stand of trees, straight and darker in the background. And I think that's quite a nice little shot. That is, that is rather nice. This is heading down to the stream. Not sure if I'll get a shot down here, but where there's water, there's hope. That's the stream bed, and unfortunately, there's no light whatsoever down there. It's quite, uh, it's quite steep and quite difficult to get down to, I guess. So uh, I don't think we're going to get a shot down there. That's for sure. Because there's no light down in the valley. I'm looking at those two leaves there against the dark black of the stream and you've got a little bit of colour, a little bit of light towards the right hand side. That, for me, is going to make a nice little shot. This bad boy is a Cahicatea, also known as a white pine. When I was down in the valley, we ran out of sunlight. So in theory, the top loop is higher, which means there'll be more light coming in. It makes sense in my head. I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this. Just been out in nature, always good for you. But, uh, but in particular this, when you walk into a forest, a dark forest, you're confronted with a lot of dark stuff. But every now and then you get a splash of light coming through the trees and, and you're looking, just looking for the light. So I'm looking around, see a tree there, a bit of light on it, will it make a shot? Maybe not that one. Keep going on and, and every now and then you come up with a, with a nice little shot with a, with a nice little bit of dappled light on the subject. And I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm not really a tree hugger. You know, I, I love a good tree, but I don't know. I can't tell one tree from another tree to be fair, but this one here, I'm pretty sure, and I don't know how I know, but I'm pretty sure that this is a Kofi tree. It looks gorgeous, it's just got a little bit of dappled light in there. And that, my God, that is, that's my shot of the day, methinks. I absolutely love that. And that, my friends, will go down. It's my favorite shot of the day so far. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is a punga. Basically a fern. Listen to me talking like I know what I'm on about. Really ain't my clue. It's a fern, that's for sure. I'm just going to show that glorious golden light that's hitting the side of the punga. That's quite a nice little shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, quite like it. Quite like it. And that, guys, is Moncton Reserve. <laughs>